In the current version of Dynamics AX, we have the ability to receive advanced shipping notes, or ASNs, from vendors, store the corresponding shipment information, and then use this information to make receiving processes more efficient. Receiving an ASN is currently only available for products and warehouses that are enabled for advanced warehouse management processes, or the so-called WHS items and warehouses. You can learn about importing inbound ASN files by following the corresponding link in the useful links section, where in my blog post I describe that process in detail. Here, we will walk through an example of manually registering the ASN information in the system. This could, for example, be used if we are unable to import a specific ASN file format, having received an advanced shipping note, or if we want to rely on this functionality to build up a pallet to be received without actually having EDI document exchange with the vendor. To support the walkthrough in this example, I have created the purchase orders shown in this slide. This is exactly the same setup I used in the walkthrough of importing an ASN file. That is because in this walkthrough, I would like to show how to create the exact same data manually. This is the ASN file I imported in the walkthrough I mentioned before. Note that here we have two shipments that are being shipped on the same load as well as the packing structure describing which items go on which pallet or case. In AX, when you add purchase order lines to a new or existing load through the load planning workbench, the system will try to consolidate the lines into few shipments. Thus, it will try to create only one shipment if the delivery information and the vendor information match. Therefore, I have updated the delivery date on one of the purchase orders to a later date, which is only logical for having two shipments in the ERP system of the vendor anyway. The walkthrough will start with creating the load and shipments, but I will not show how to specify the tractor number and the customer reference on the shipment. You can just go and update those by editing the corresponding records in Dynamics AX. Instead, I will focus on the actual creation of the packing structure so it matches our ASN file. We will start by opening the load planning workbench and selecting the purchase order lines so that we can add them to a new load. As you can see, these are the two purchase orders that I have created. And as I mentioned just before, the delivery date is different on the two purchase orders. I will select all three lines and add them to a new load. I'll select a random load template because that is not interesting for me in this um, walkthrough, which is also why the capacity does not match. It doesn't matter. As you can see, a new load has been created, which has three load lines and two shipments on it. I will navigate to that load and take a quick look at the, uh, the three load lines and the shipment information. In this case, shipment 10 was created and contains one line and shipment 11 was created and contains the two other lines. This is important for the walkthrough uh, of creating the actual packing structure. Let us now create the packing structure for this new inbound load. You can do that by going to the load planning workbench and opening the packing structure form from the ship and receive menu. I will now create a new pallet and the dialog will open where I can select the shipment that this pallet is assigned to. You can see that the shipment is not pre-populated and that is because I have multiple shipments corresponding to this load. I will select shipment 10 to start with and enter the license plate as it is specified in the ASN file. Note that I can specify both existing and new license plates in this field. Clicking OK creates the line in the pallet section. Because in the ASN file I had the items directly on the pallet, I will jump immediately to the items section. By clicking New 
a dialog will open where I can select items that correspond to shipment 10 and only those items. Uh, in this case I want to put all of the items belonging to that shipment on this palette so I will do that by clicking the add ASN items button. Now the items are placed on this palette and as you can see the totals have been updated for this palette and shipment. Okay this is done let's move on to the next shipment. As you remember from the ASN file shipment 11 also had some items on the same palette LPASN001. So I'll specify it here. You can see it pops up in the uh, lookup form now, meaning that it exists. And that is possible. And if I switch to the line for shipment 11, I can now create items to put on that palette now using shipment 11. In this case, only 200 items fit uh, on the palette from A001 and everything uh, for item P004 was on that palette, the entire 300 items. Note that because this is a batch tracked item I can also specify the batch number. Now the batch number doesn't yet exist so I will right click on the lookup field and go to view details because I need to create the batch number up front. I will specify it as it was in the ASN file, BN0001. I can also select the manufacturing date uh, if that was uh, necessary or the other expiration date, for example. I will not do that in this example. Now I can select this batch number in the uh, lookup. Confirm the quantities are as in the file, 200 and 300, and confirm the creation. As you can see, the total was summed up correctly showing there are multiple items on that palette and these are the actual items the batch number also being present here. Now all we need to do is take care of the remaining 400 items. I will create yet another palette select shipment 11 but now enter the new license plate number LPASN002. Um, because I want to put the 400 remaining items in a case, I will also tick the Has Packs um, button, uh, which will now create a new record in the Palettes section with the Has Packs checkbox being set. That means that I will not be able to directly create items on that palette. I will need to start by creating a case. I will need to specify a license plate for the case. In this case it's going to be LPASN002 C01. I will confirm that. And now I can go ahead and create the items. As you can see I'm shown how much is actually remaining to be added from that shipment and that is 400 which is correct. So I will just go ahead and add everything. Now you see 400 have been added, the totals both on the case level and on the palette level have been updated. The packing structure now looks exactly the same as it did when we imported the ASN file. As you can see, creating a packing structure for an inbound load is relatively simple with the system suggesting which lines to add on the palette based on the shipment you selected, as well as calculating all the totals automatically at the case and palette level. If you have additional questions, start by looking through the links provided below in the useful links section, and reach out if you have questions that are not answered there.